I'm Chef Patty. Welcome to Savile Kitchens. Today we'll be discussing the sandwich of the month for October, jack-o'-lantern sliders. There's a lot of fun to be had in the fall and there's lots of fun ways to add that to your menu. So we'll get started. We're going to start off by making pumpkin rolls. Pumpkin rolls for this recipe, uh, the recipe is provided courtesy of King Arthur Flour, which this is their, their product here. We have some lukewarm milk, pumpkin puree, instant yeast, pumpkin pie spice from McCormick, light brown sugar from Domino, and a couple eggs. You're just going to mix it all together until you get a nice smooth elastic consistency. Then once you reach that, you want to put it in a lightly oiled bowl and cover it and allow it to proof up. And you want it to get puffy. It doesn't necessarily need to double fully in size. Then you want to gently deflate that dough and divide it out into 24 rolls. Then you're going to allow them to proof back up again and bake them at 350 for approximately 20 minutes. I suggest checking on them earlier. My rolls only took 15. It just depends on your equipment and whatnot. And then when we're done, we have these beautiful golden um, yeast rolls. They're really fra uh, fragrant and have a nice sweet, light sweetness to them. For the barbecue sauce, I have our Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce and uh, just some chipotle peppers in adobo. Just puree these together and a, to a nice smooth consistency. We've got some nice golden uh, sliced cheddar cheese here and our burgers. So we'll go ahead and get these assembled. Okay. A nice pretty harvesty color. Chipotle barbecue sauce. It's really nice when you warm these rolls up and they get so aromatic. Our off fresh burgers. More barbecue sauce. So you get the smoky, you get a little sweet, the hints of the aromatic spices. Very fall-esque. And if you don't have the capacity to, to bake in-house, do other things that are fun. Just kind of get creative with it. Whether it's like a green goblin sauce or, I don't know, pumpkin harissa. There's lots of different things you could do. You could even top this off with a little piece of a pretzel or Sliver pecan. I chose a black plate in lieu of Halloween. And I'm going to garnish it with some haystack potatoes. There we go. So here's our jack o' lantern sliders. This dish uh, suggests, suggests itself for this is around $10.99. The actual cost per plate is $2.19. So you're going to net almost $9 in profit per plate at a 20% food cost. So it's a great little item just in time for the fall season. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time.